don't think it's big enough. This axe is uh, supposed to be a uh, version of Gore Howl. For anybody who's played World of Warcraft, Garrosh Hellscream, this is his signature weapon. So I kind of wanted one that was what I kind of picture like an eight foot fork would actually carry. Yep. So I didn't want to scale it down for human necessarily. When I do get it all carved though, I want Big Tony to swing it. I'm cutting out the profile of the axe. When it comes to carving like this, it's all about a series of taking more and more wood off until you have your piece revealed when it's all said and done. Start drawing some scribbly lines and shit? More or less, yeah. All right. So when I'm basing something off of reality, because World of Warcraft is totally reality. <laughs> Fair point. I will download a bunch of like screenshots, hopefully to get different perspective, different angles on it. There's actually a pretty decent amount of variation on it, so I kind of pulled the different ones that I like. So like, that's one version right there. Yep. That's, mm. I think, more what I'm gonna try and carve down there. Yeah. start shaping and contouring the axe. Predominantly the handle, uh, probably a little bit on the blade as well. My weapon of choice is gonna be an angle grinder. This is a pretty aggressive flap wheel for sanding. That's what I'm gonna use to put a wide bevel on the blade, but to actually hog off a lot of the material on the handle, I'm gonna be using this puppy. Very spiky. Ouch. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and make some sawdust. Rip it up. 
I'm pretty happy with this, like how it's coming. Ah, oh, this is fun. So, we're gonna start coloring some shit. The raised parts of the carving, and we're gonna go over with, I'm actually straight up paint with this stuff. It's somewhere between like fiery bronze and a copper, and then I plan on staining all the relief carving in here. Like I want to go for like a dark iron color. I'm gonna have to cut this into strips for it, soak it in water, mm. wrap it tightly around the wood, and as it dries, it shrinks even tighter. Let's get to it. This thing started out about 40 pounds when it was all glued together. Yeah, it's Probably actually about eight it. to 10 pounds. Pretty light. Swing it. I mean, just don't try and <laughs> cleave anything. Yeah. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. What a difference from the last time I saw this. On the, on the, is it as tall as you? Almost. Take the boots off, get a little bit of shadow on me, no problem. <laughs> Have you guys seen Big Tony? Right across from Malibu, usually, right. by that sanding table. What do you think, Big Tony? I approve. Good fit? <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> Damn. Scale perfect. One of the few things that is. Have you fought Bennett yet? I know not to fight Bennett. Bennett is terrifying. Don't let the smile fool you. I gotta ask you a question. That's a fun point. That's a fun point. I don't think I need to ask the question, but I need to ask the question. Why? Why the fuck not? Okay, yeah, acceptable answer. 
Have enough weapons. I know, but like, ah! Happy unbirthday! Yeah, no fucking kidding, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> 